The band The Goo Goo Dolls is on tour again, playing favorites and some new songs, all while celebrating the 25th anniversary of their breakthrough album, Dizzy Up the Girl. I spoke with the lead band members about innovating while preserving their classic sound for our arts and culture series, Canvas. Iris, the enduring power ballad off the Goo Goo Dolls 1998 I album, Dizzy Up the Girl. The song skyrocketed the band to fame. The album sold over four million copies and produced three additional top 40 hits. Now, 25 years later, the band's lead singer and guitar player, Johnny Resnick, and bass guitar player, Robbie Takak, are still performing to sold out crowds. It's the 25th anniversary of Dizzy Up the Girl. How does that strike you? It's kind of like, wow, where did a quarter of a century go? And I think we lost sight of how fast we were moving. Because as soon as Dizzy Up the Girl came out, and that was when we, boom, had this big explosion of sort of success. And we're from Buffalo, New York, so you, you have pragmatism sort of in your DNA. So it was like, keep your head down, you get the ball, just keep running until they take it from you. And they haven't taken it from us yet. So, I'm not saying. Still running. Yeah. Still running. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, still doing this. Yeah. Resnick and Takehack formed what started off as a punk band under a different name in the late 1980s in their hometown of Buffalo, New York. By the late 90s, their unique sound and anthemic rock hits made the Goo Goo Dolls a household name. Now the band is back in a big way with their Out All Night Tour. Hitting 45 cities in support of their newest album, Chaos and Bloom, here at Meriwether Post Pavilion in Maryland. And debuting a new song. Your new song, Run All Night, which is about trying to escape your circumstances and not giving up hope. Tell me about it. I think you pretty much nailed it there. That song is very much about not giving up and not letting the terror of the world <laughs> stop you from being human. I feel as though there's this, this rush to make human beings obsolete and it bothers me. I don't think it's gonna work. As much AI and, and uh, you know, automation and all this kind of stuff. I just, I just believe that, that, that the human spirit will win in the end. Despite drastic changes in the music industry with streaming and new technology, the Goo Goo Dolls say they're still writing songs the same way they always have. We slid under the door of a closing door on the music industry. We have the luxury of being able to go out and play live and having a big catalog of songs and, and that's still great. But like, I work in a studio in Manhattan a lot and there's writing rooms in there. And so these young writers who are great, and they'll get together with like these TikTok kids. Mm -hmm. And it just looks exhausting because it's like they constantly have to have GoPro cameras on them. Yeah. And we gotta find a viral moment. And all this nonsense. It's like, no, man, you need to you need to make an emotional connection. Like this is all superficial. Mm -hmm. This this nonsense is just this is all superficial. Yeah. It's like, what do you got to say? Like, when you're not pretty anymore? Hey, he's, he's <laughs> no, when, my man. I'm you know, here. I mean, it's like, you better, <laughs> you better have something to say. Yeah. And making that emotional connection is the most important thing. Up the pieces, do it again. And now they're connecting their old favorites with a new audience. When you look out into your audience, who do you see? There's a lot of younger kids, 20-somethings out there, which is, like, all right, that's cool. And, you know, people our age and uh, older, and it's pretty much like a couple of generations of people coming out to see it now. And the tours have been getting, like, incrementally bigger, despite that break during COVID. It's been really gratifying. And it's like, it's fun to see, like, a young kid singing your song. The other night, uh, we pulled this kid, I think he was 19. What's your name? Jake. Jake. He held up this big sign. 
Can I play guitar on name? Oh, wow. Which is tuned in a crazy way. Yeah, I, yeah. I use a lot of alternate tunings on my instruments. <laughs> I was going to ask you about that. Yeah. 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 So I play my guitar in a lot of alternate tunings. You know, people like Joni Mitchell and Stephen Stills and Jimmy Page and Ry Cooter and all these people have done this. A lot of blues players have done a lot of that. And I was like, wow, I can write songs with one finger. <laughs> this is amazing. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. why I did it, yeah. you know? And later I came up with that phony baloney story about being influenced by Joni Mitchell and Judy Page. <laughs> but um, we were a three-piece band at first. So I started detuning the guitar because I had to play a solo and keep the rhythm going at the same time. Oh. So it was a way to fill it out so it didn't drop out when yeah. I was playing guitar solo. So I would have all these droney strings playing while I was like <laughs> An approach that resulted in a string of mega hits with memorable opening chords. A number of the songs open with a really simple guitar riff yeah. and then the beat drops in. Was that intentional? Yeah. I guess that's a little bit of a coincidence too. Yeah. You know, the songs that we know, like Slide does that, Name right. does that, yeah. you know, like Iris does that. Holy cow, I think you've recognized <laughs> yeah. the trend. There I'm, is a, a trend. I'm a bit of a fan. I know a little bit about your music. It's, well, it's, yeah. it, I never noticed that. But, you know, I am a guitar player. So I like to start songs with like a top line. Some signature thing that just is like a little hook yeah. that says, oh, I know this song. Here comes that song. And that's kind of how Iris is, the beginning, and all those other songs that you mentioned. Yeah. I have to yeah. look into this yeah. now. Are there any songs that when you perform them, you're in a groove and it just feels, it just feels right? Yeah. I mean, Sometimes. To me, I mean, to me, Slide is always when... We always play that kind of early, and the first song everybody knows is that one. It always feels great to play that song. Yeah. You know, I still love that. You start playing the guitar riff at the top of the song, which apparently we do in every song. <laughs> but, and then, but, but maybe this is why. I know where you're going. this is why. <laughs> because you play ding, 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 ding. Hey! <sighs> yeah. You know? yeah. And then it's yeah. like, yes! <laughs> you know? I never get sick of like turning the microphone around and listening to them sing. I sat on my sofa at like two in the morning, you know, with a guitar and a pen and a piece of paper and like wrote this song and like to connect like that, that's an amazing thing. That's something AI can't recreate yet. <laughs> yeah. well, did you envision that for yourself 25 years ago that you would reach this level of success and that it would be enduring? It's like any relationship, you know, like it's, it's, it's going to do what it does. But if it's important enough, you know, you're going to figure out how to get to the next day. And people ask how you get a band to stay together for decades like this. I can't answer that, but I can tell you how to do it for a few days. Mm -hmm. And then you just need to keep doing that. Yep. Like you can't stop doing that, you know, it's, it's definitely, and then all of a sudden it's 40 years. Yeah, know, it's, it's, it's definitely a day at a time. Yeah. You know, if you're focused on the work, on the work, which is the creative part of it. Learning the idea of do what's best for the song. I'm just lucky that we've been able to last so long. And I think it's just being consistent and just working. When people think of the Goo Goo Dolls, what do you want them to think that your ultimate message is? I think the overarching message in all the songs is, wow, everything is really screwed up. <laughs> but it's going to be okay. <laughs> They're the best.